It's Friday the 13th of uh, March 2020 and this upload is with regard to uh, circumstances involved in this vendetta of violations and uh, victimisation that I'm experiencing. Um, as I mentioned in all my uploads since 2006, I've been progressing on my own spiritual journey and path of recovery and healing and whatnot um, through self-study and learning. Um, as I've mentioned, uh, over a decade ago, there was the issues of uh, assault and hate crime um, that have raised its ugly head again in recent times, except on this occasion a little bit more serious. So, um, from the previous uh, vendetta of assaults of my character, reputation and good name, etc., um, there was no uh, positive amends uh, provided. But what has happened in recent times is a more um, sinister situation that has involved people broadcasting and discussing my personal life and private life and violating my privacy and intruding. Um, there have been people... Um, implicating themselves in my private life that have no business ever involving themselves with me. Um, as a teacher, I'm a private person. Um, I ad abhor the um, injustice that any person in society experiences and um, the issues that I'm presented with at the moment uh, without support advocacies or services is absolutely um, outrageous. So these people that have implicated themselves in my private life and that have perpetrated spiritual violence and have been guilty of medical incompetence and that have caused bodily integrity violations have um, made me ponder of the um, role of artificial intelligence with regard to truth and justice. There's a particular research programme over in the UK that I'm uh, referring to with regards to its um, intention for AI and um, truth finding answers and, you know, justice basically. So this is all kind of contradictory in certain aspects of what I'm experiencing due to the injustice that um, is being perpetrated against me. There have been, as I've said, individuals that have, have involved themselves in my private life and um, that haven't been comfortable with these uploads but um, have no business even looking at these uploads if they're not of interest to them and have no business involving themselves or even discussing um, these matters if they don't know the full facts of the circumstances. So this is a vendetta of hate crime and um, the role of artificial intelligence and the role of authorities um, is paramount in this situation. Um, for a law-abiding citizen, a qualified teacher that has been defamed and that has been um, denigrated intentionally by perpetrators of hate crime, I'm just wondering about the role of the UN and the human rights agencies and the authorities and the modern day politicians when there are people helping themselves to um, the earnings and work of um, individuals that they have perpetrated daylight robbery against. So um, as a teacher, as I've said, the issue of children's rights is also of concern. There have been um, recently issues caused by grown adults, mature adults, uh, mothers um, that have been highly disrespectful towards the rights of the child and uh, for professionals to be turning a blind eye to such circumstances and to be um, turning a blind eye to individuals that think they're going to buy and sell a person and totally denigrate their human rights and constitutional rights just because they feel like it or because of hate crime um, isn't good enough. Um, debasing a person's um, quality of life simply because of hate crime and jealousy and greed is uh, nothing more than just juvenile and petty and just downright thoughtless. Um, the individuals, the individuals that I have encountered in this issue of offences that have been unjustifiably perpetrated against me um, is unfathomable. The uh, people 
that are threatening um, other people's lives without reason, without cause, um, have a big, big, big burden on their shoulders uh, from here on now, especially when there is so much owed um, to a victim of hate crime and uh, identity theft, financial theft and spiritual theft. So with AI, there's the obligation in recent times with their developments with regard to uh, truth and justice. So um, this is all contradictory in this circumstance when such um, developments are being made and women in particular that think they're above the law and elevated enough to call the shots and causing damage um, unjustifiably to another person's life um, makes me wonder also about women's rights and the um, role of other mothers and teachers and professionals in this situation as well. So um, basically what I have been experiencing as a teacher that has been unemployed uh, first due to illness and due to uh, defamation um, and now um, unemployed experiencing uh, financial abuse, theft and exploitation. As a deserted wife, I don't even receive spousal support. And um, I think for any spouse in this day and age to uh, betray, cheat and lie on a partner and think they're going to just buy and sell that partner um, without knowing um, the value and importance of all the principles uh, surrounding uh, the issue of marriage is another uh, matter for um, societal um, anthropologists to consider with regard to this entire veta and vendetta of hate crime. So um, last night, as I've shared, there hasn't been supportive services or advocacy provided. Um, that's outrageous in this kind of a situation and in this day and age. There have been changes and alterations in society and um, I have not been updated or informed about any of those changes or alterations um, with regards to um, what's uh, relevant for any citizen to be made aware of. But yet there are people violating me, withholding information from me and uh, thinking they're going to decide the outcome of uh, my achievements and my work and basically um, disrespect my human rights. So um, financial abuse is a big aspect of this as a victim of medical incompetence and bodily integrity violations. Um, as would be the case with any uh, victim of assault, uh, physical injuries and defamation of character all incur, um, you know, costs and losses of earnings and opportunities, etc. So that goes back to 2003 and 2005 in this experience that has been perpetrated against me. And now again, um, even more seriously, so uh, since giving birth and being married in 2015. So um, financial abuse and financial theft and financial exploitation that has been happening um, is absolutely unjust and absolutely shameful that there have been people um, stealing from me and um, basically, you know, just being absolutely shameless and having no remorse about the trouble that they've caused um, really makes me wonder about the validity of um, AI objectives with regards to their spiritual programs, truth finding and justice, etc, etc. So there's a lot of hypocrisy going on in this situation. There's a lot of double standards. And there's a lot of disinformation and withholding information. So um, basically, that's just a short upload for uh, that small topic that I wanted to uh, raise a concern about. Because basically, when people are uh, violating, as is the case in this situation, not only women's rights and children's rights, but, um, you know, basically, you know, Daylight robbery is absolutely um, inexplicable and inexcusable and individuals intruding and imposing upon me that have no experience of me, that have no fa